Hello. Thanks for being here. I let this sit here for quite some time on. Just turned it off. I'm going to turn it on, see if anything has changed. Nope, it is much the same. So I'm going to turn it off. And I'm going to hoist the lid. And open up the innards. I am. So indeed, thankfully, most every chip of significance is in a socket. I like socket, even though sockets can fail. I do like sockets. Now, as I look in here, way down here, way down here, is the screen rim. The other thing, I remember I was at the World of Commodore some while ago when it was still in person, and I was talking to somebody about this machine and other machines like it. And from what they say, or said, is you can remove all the RAM as long as it's got four chips on the right side. It should be happy enough to boot up. And one chip in here is not a normal chip. It is one that was adapted from something new. So what I'm going to do is take the RAM chips out. And I'm suspecting, but I don't know, that maybe I'm going to set them down so I know exactly where they came from, that um, there are 16 of these. So I'm suspecting that if I take them out in multiples of four, Hello, why is this giving me a hard time? Well, gee, the chip's only been in there, probably, for 44 years. Once again, people say, use a chip puller. I don't buy it. I like to be able to gently take my time and wiggle things up. So I've taken four of them out. So just because I can, and I'm interested, I'm going to turn this back on, see if anything has changed. Not really. Okay. Off we go. So, I will continue. Great care. To pull out these chips and keep track of where they came from. And once again, the ones in the front seem to be a little more hesitant about giving it up. But they do. I'm suspecting that what I have here is a RAM issue of some sort. But do I know this for sure? No, I don't know. So that is eight RAM chips out. Once again, I will apply power. made a difference, because now, I see nothing, so be it, I'm going to continue on my plan to remove the RAM chips except for four. OK. 
carefully place them in position. So right now, watch which part. Now I have the machine with every RAM chip removed except for the very last four. I will turn it on. Oh, okay. It is different. Let's close it up for a second. Being very careful not to touch. So now it looks more kind of like what it should, although the characters are wrong. Let's see, does this work? Ooh. All right, now. The cassette drive is now rewinding. Did not do this before. It is now fast forwarding. On the screen, you probably can't see, but instead of saying, you know, whatever basic, it says at sign H H H H at sign H P at sign space at sign at sign P H at sign etc. So something is not as it should be. I wonder if that happens. Oh. Well, when I press the Z key. I get an X. When I press the X key, I get an X. When I press the C key, I get an at sign. B is a P. B is an at sign. M is an H. M is another H. Oh. A comma is a bracket. When I hit enter, I get, well, I'm assuming what I get is syntax error ready, but certainly it doesn't look quite right. It does not. Um, yeah. I wonder if I do the shift. No, no, no. Where is the run stop? Did they have a run stop? Run stop. If I do shift run stop, oh. I was wondering if it would ask me to press play on tape one in some other language such as this, but it did not. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I'm going to turn this off. I have the chips laid out here in the order that they came out, all the RAM chip things. including the one that is appearing to be a replacement with an adapter board. Interesting. And I'm going to ponder. I am. So, if you have any thoughts, if you have experience with such a machine as this, Please, don't hesitate to write. Not at all. Not for one second. I would be most appreciative of your wisdom. Anyway. Uh, until we meet again. And we will meet again, I'm sure. Thanks for being here. Bye for now.